I really like these Schlag locks. I think it's really the only way to go when you've got this type of lock. Way better than the type that has some sort of battery, battery actuated deadbolt, which I find uh, doesn't work very well. These work the best and I've tried a number of them. The problem is with mine is that it's super cold out right now and it stopped working. You'd push this button and you could kind of feel it engage but it wouldn't fully engage and it wouldn't turn this thing out. Well I fixed it easy enough and uh, I'm going to show you the easy way to fix it but I also took it all apart and if you want to watch the whole video you can see what's inside of here. So let me show you what's going on. So it's locked. Well, it's not locked, but it's sort of freewheeling there. I'm going to put in the code. You can hear it open, but it doesn't quite catch. And when I lock it, you push this, you should be able to lock it, and it's not locking. So other than just being cold, we got to figure out what the problem is. So. The answer to the question was, why wasn't this unlocking when it got cold? The answer is, the battery died. I didn't think about that before I took everything apart. Um, you could just stop this video right now, go replace the battery, and it's probably going to work. If you want to learn what's inside this lock and how it actually works, keep watching. So I can take it off on the back side here. There's a couple of screws. Let me get those off and open it up and see what it looks right. like. So let's take that off. See, we've got our electronics and stuff under there, but the mechanical part is the stuff outside. So I'm going to take these two screws out here, which will release the outside. All right, I'm trying to get this work on this before it warms up, and then it isn't a problem anymore. But, well, yeah, too late. So when you push this button, you can see how this part here has to move. So something's happening when it's cold that isn't allowing that to move. So I gotta take some of these screws off and see if I can get inside of there. So, ugh, I think the issue is probably inside of here because this isn't mechanical at all. This is just a knob. Okay, so we got to go deeper, I guess. I think I'm going to be able to remove this plate and see what we got inside of that. I got those out. Let's see what possibly could be freezing up in here. It is covered with grease, and grease certainly gets stiff when it's cold. So that plate isn't the problem. All right. So what's happening here? There's there's a pin here. So when you push the button or you unlock it, it moves this mechanism up, and it's going to push this pin up into the back side where there's these gears unless that pin is engaged with one of these uh, with the gear when you turn the knob here it's just going to spin so um, I think what the problem is is that for whatever reason it's not pushing this pin up um, I'm going to just oil this up a little better clean the oil old grease off put new grease on because I know the mechanism is, is trying to work because I can hear it but I don't think it's obviously not pushing this pin up far enough so I'm going to just get some degreaser, clean that all up, put some new grease on it, stick it outside in the cold and see if it works. So this has got a little spring on it here. Take that out. And this piece I can take out here. Well this is humorous so I was going to use my some chain lube and I have this uh, wet bike lubricant for extreme conditions like snowflakes except it's frozen solid so I'm gonna call that a fail um, this one my Nash bar one is still liquid so I'm gonna put that on there just put a very light coating on there to provide some lubrication for the mechanism
Alright, so now I'm going to put in the code. Now you can hear it click. And I know it's working because the pin back here spins. So watch this slot. I'm going to do the lock mechanism. And you can see that's moving back and forth. So it's working. So I'm going to reinstall it, leave it out in the cold. And I'm guessing that'll take care of our problem. Hmm, you know, now that I got it all back together, I thought of one thing. This isn't the first time I've done this. It could just be the battery. <laughs> I'm testing. I'm only getting 7.8 volts. If it's not enough power to push that, um, that actuator, the plunger, the solenoid down, then it wouldn't engage that um, cog. I'm going to put this battery back in and see what happens, but... Um, you know what I would try? Just replace the battery and see if that might be your problem before you take it all apart. But now you know what it looks like inside of there.